who I am and what I do. I'm um, Amber Gray. I'm a human rights psychotherapist and a dance movement therapist, somatic psychotherapist. And my work for 25 years has been with survivors of political violence, torture, war, genocide, people leave, living in surviving extreme situations. And um, so what I will be bringing um, to this presentation um, is a focus, I'm calling it Getting Our Beat Back. And it's gonna be a focus on how rhythm connects and rhythm restores and rhythm regulates. And I'm using the term re-regulate because I think um, coming out of the extreme situations we've been individually and collectively living through, um, many of us are probably finding, you know, ourselves on some continuum of reaction or response, uh, fear, stress, trauma, loss, grief, things like that. And simultaneously, probably some breakthroughs and some inspirations and some transformations and some revelations. So um, rhythm is a great connecting, I, I mean, rhythm connects everything all the time. I think it's one of the primary um, principles of life is that there's rhythm. And so using, I, I'm, I'm planning, I don't have all the details laid out yet, but I'm planning on using movement, uh, my primary um, creative arts and expressive arts modality, but also bringing in some other creative processes. So we may be doing a little writing, we may be doing a little drawing or sculpting, but we'll access rhythm in through, through at least two creative portals. Having worked in a context of extreme traumas, um, I talk about losing our beat. That's one way that I like to describe trauma that makes um, sense to people. We lose our beat. And what that has to do with a, um, a shift, a physiological shift. So um, people who are, whether we're therapists or clients coming to therapists, we're coming because we want something to change or shift. That's what we're supporting for our clients. Um, we'll often think about it in terms of psychological or emotional shifts. It's impossible to make those shifts if we don't shift physiologically. And our physiology is rhythm. So if you just consider, you know, in any moment in time, if we could take a cross section of all the movement going on in our human body, um, brain waves, heart rate, respiration, um, vascular feedback, cranial sacral, we're, we're rhythm. And so those rhythms get dysregulated or they go off when we are um, stuck in or living in fear-based states or terror-based states or grief-based states. So working with rhythm, and it can be very simple. It can be how I, as a therapist, show up and just breathe in the room with my client, or it can be actual processes and, you know, working with groups, it might be quite dynamic rhythm work, working individually. Um, you know, it might be, I, I often use drums, or it might be working with our breath or working with movement. It might be implicit or explicit rhythm work, but anytime that we work with rhythm, we offer an opportunity for our clients to re-regulate, to come back to their, or come closer to their usual beat. 